everyone and welcome to True Memphis. I'm Chef Cammie. I have a very special guest with me on today's video. This is my husband, Kevlar, my best friend. Today we're going to be doing a mukbang and this is a dish that I created. Um, this comes from one of my menu items from the Pineapple Express, which is coming soon. Um, this is the pineapple bowl. I have teriyaki chick teriyaki, I'm sorry. This is the jerk chicken and jerk shrimp with brown rice and I have um, some pineapple salsa to go with it. So today it's gonna be story time. We're gonna be talking about why we chose the career path that we chose. I am a certified chef and my husband is a master barber. He has his own barber shop. So we're going to be eating, indulging, and we're going to be sharing our story with you guys. So, let's dig in, babe. Let's pray first, right? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. May it bring nourishment to our body and nothing deadly and it harm us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. So, this isn't our first time having this. I prepared this for my husband and I. Um, I so, why I chose to cook. Um, I started cooking at a very young age. I was 11 years old um, when I decided to get into cooking. Um, I feel like I was kind of pushed at first because my father wanted me to get more involved. Um, he wanted me to get more involved in helping my mother around the house. So. Um, he put me in the kitchen. So, you know, most people, they they learn through experiences or through other people. I am, I would consider myself self-taught where, you know, most of the, most of the, it's good. I know it's good. Most of I got to try y'all, huh? Mm. A jerk shrimp. Y'all better be ready when I open them doors. To Memphis Pineapple Express, right, boo? Coming soon. We in Memphis, Tennessee, right now, so hence the name. True Memphis. True Memphis. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so um, I was self-taught. I learned a couple of things here and there from um, my mother, um, from other people. Um, at the church because my family used to uh, volunteer on Sunday mornings to cook for the homeless so everything that we made was from scratch so I would learn you know working working there in the kitchen um mm. you like the jerk chicken? Mm -hmm. you guys have some salsa to go with it this is pineapple salsa so it's pineapple, tomato, cilantro, and salad. Mm. He don't eat. He's a picky eater. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I said, I was self-taught. I really knew for myself that I wanted to cook for a living when my parents opened up their uh, restaurant. It started off, they started off as a food trailer. Um, they purchased it when I was like the end of fifth grade going into sixth grade. And the name of it was Akamaya Grill. And Akamaya is a Hawaiian, um, Hawaiian word and it means family. So it was a family grill. My entire family worked inside of the trailer. Um, at first, you know, I didn't like the idea of just being in the trailer with my family because I was already sheltered. I was already up under them 24-7. So just the thought of being with them in a small secluded area, just I wasn't down for it at first. But looking back, it was fun for the most part. You see the salsa? I think you got to get that close though. Anyway, yeah, you see the pineapple, tomato, cilantro, and then I added some um, 
balsamic vinegar and soy sauce. It's a traditional Hawaiian kind of salsa. So, I wasn't down for it at first. Like I said, I was already up under them 24-7. So, But I actually learned a lot um, as far as, you know, dealing with people in the community and being friendly and kind to your guests. But that's just how my parents are overall. They're just really nice people. I'm nice too, right, babe? <laughs> Only when she wants something. <laughs> that's not You're true. Sweet. Mm, thank you. But yeah, so um, they had the food trailer for like six or seven months. It wasn't that long, and then they uh, ended up buying a, a standalone restaurant, and they positioned it in the place where the food trailer was and then um, they built an extension for a seating area and it was really really nice because opening up something in a community where you know people it's easier for you to get your foot in the door because you have people who are willing to support you willing to you know spread the word about your business so it's really good to be in an area where you know people when you're opening up a business don't get me wrong you could probably do just as well if you don't know anybody but I think it's better if you know people what do you say Ben? you think it's better to know people in the community when you're opening up a business that's a plus but it's not necessary right the best advertisement is word of mouth so when you guys taste our food and you like it pass the word along we appreciate you guys and thanks for showing the love Yes, definitely. Thank you. Appreciate you in advance. Um, so yeah, that's basically when I knew I wanted to open up my own restaurant and open up chains of my own restaurant. Uh, I wanted to be the next McDonald's. You know, they have chains and they're like a multi-billion dollar company. Is it millionaire or billionaire? I think it's billionaire. Probably billionaire. <laughs> and they're in different countries, yeah. That's who I'm gonna that's who I'm gonna be. So um I started doing my own research, going to the library, um, indulging myself in different cookbooks, checking out multiple cookbooks, trying recipes, um, getting critiqued by my father, working on things and I still have a long way to go, but for the most part, I consider myself an intermediate chef where I know the basics and, you know, I can work in an industrial kitchen, commercial kitchen and know my way around the kitchen and how to work things, um, knowing the temperatures of certain foods, that's important as a chef. A lot of people nowadays, they think being a chef is just cooking and having pretty food, X, Y, Z, and, you know, that's all part of it, but passion is definitely what sets you apart from the rest because you can know how to cook really good but if you don't have a passion for people that's the main thing having a passion for people to serve the people to see the people smile when they're eating your food then you might want to reconsider being a chef but i went to culinary school after i graduated high school I applied for Johnson & Wales. Originally, I wanted to go to either Le Cordon Bleu in Atlanta or the one in Paris. I was kind of scared to go overseas though by myself because I had just left my house. So I settled for Johnson & Wales. It was actually a newly established school in Charlotte. Uh, I think it was like a year or two old. A year or two, you know. But, I ended up going there. I met my husband before I actually attended classes. I met him in August and school started in September. For some reason they start later than other schools, but somehow I got sidetracked and we moved here to Memphis and I was looking for a culinary arts school and I couldn't find any. So um, 
I found one, but I didn't feel it was accredited or worth me going to to get a degree. It wasn't even like a bachelor's degree program. It was like an associate. Was it good, babe? It was great. Loved it, man. <laughs> I eat fast. Y'all gotta excuse me. <laughs> I didn't even. I don't even drink much. She's like, talking while she's eating stuff. So. I'm alright. Um. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't consider it to be a, an accredited college. Um. But what is this sweet tea, babe? That's what you asked for. I got um, kiwi strawberry. Oh, see, he gets himself the special kind. And I get she regular sweet tea. tea. <laughs> You see how he does me, y'all? Anyways, I went, um, actually enrolled into nursing school. I was convinced that nursing was something that I could be really good at. And I still believe I could be really good in nursing. Um, but we all have a calling and we all have a talent and a passion. And I feel like that's cooking, that's me running a restaurant. Um, so... I don't want to push that aside for something that, you know, I can be good at, but it's not my calling. So, I enrolled for nursing school. I did that for two years, undergraduate, and then I decided that I wanted to pursue culinary arts degree. So, I ended up enrolling in that school, and I finished the program. I have my associate in culinary arts and restaurant management. Um... And I don't feel it's necessary. You don't need a culinary arts. I just I feel it's a waste of money. Unless you're planning on, you know, being a teacher with that degree or um, working in a. I would say it's necessary because getting a degree separate the real ones from the fake. So yeah. if you really want to go for something and achieve something you have to finish it and the people who really don't want to achieve it as you see they're going to drop out of school so it just weeds out the ones who don't want to and makes the field not be so saturated you know mm, facts but the people who went to school like the people i went to school with you know don't get me wrong nobody isn't going to be perfect or as good as you or if you think you're really good they're not going to be the same person as you so when i was going i felt like i was like the top student not to brag or anything but i feel like i was you know on my game i was there to receive knowledge in the culinary arts field. i wasn't there to play around or play in the kitchen or you know i was there to gain as much information as i could to take with me into the real world so a lot of people need to keep that in mind if you're pursuing uh, anything, any degree, that you're going there to receive knowledge of the career field that you're planning on doing for the rest of your life. So you don't go there to play or you don't go there to, you know, miss school or, you know. Um, so, yeah, I became um, the first time I actually ran a kitchen, um, I would say, is. Uh, I became a food and beverage manager for a hotel. I won't disclose that, but um, I did that for six months. It was it was definitely an experience because being a manager, it takes a lot of patience, and that's one thing I definitely learned. But anyways, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I know I'm talking a lot. I wanted my husband to share. I didn't want this video to be long or whatever, but y'all, this food is banging. Like, I can't wait to open the restaurant. Anyway. Well, I'm going to take this time out to let y'all watch her, enjoy her food. Love you guys. Subscribe. <laughs> no, babe. <laughs> no. <laughs> you have to share what. I already ate. It's mm -hmm. your time, so. You have to share why you chose Barbara. The reason I chose barbering is because that's my passion. That's something that I love to do. Um, currently, I'm an owner of my own shop by the grace of God. We appreciate you, and I got to take care of this beautiful lady because she is high maintenance, and it is a great field to be in. And like I say, I have a passion for it. I'll tell anybody, follow your passion. Don't just go working for somebody 
Just because even though, you know, you're getting good money, because in the end, you're going to dread going to work. So, you know, find what you like to do and ask God what's your calling and go from there. And put 110% behind it. Don't lollygag. Don't procrastinate. Just go for it. You only got one life to live and give it your best shot. But Spoken from a true entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Y'all, he owns his own barbershop. <clears throat> and he's going, it's like, what, three years now? Three and a half three years? Three years. We're trying to work on the next one. I'm trying trying to, to work on the next barbershop. Get a chain of them. A chain, exactly. That's the main thing. Is but before we do that, we're working on the food truck. So we have to succeed in our yes. food truck first. So like I say, y'all, go check out the pineapple bowl. Yeah, look at that. He's like the freestyle <clears throat> guru. Anytime I ask me to freestyle, he's able to freestyle on any beat. So we gotta switch it up for y'all. Nobody does this. I've been cooking in the kitchen since I was 11. Flipping jacks in the pan, looking like a savage. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, yeah, freestyle, babe. She want me to freestyle. We eating on the mukbang. Hoping that y'all will come support us when we open the chain of the restaurants. This is what we do. Just eating, trying to show you all the meals that she be That's cooking amazing. in the kitchen. She be in there whipping on the platter. Watch it scatter. We just trying to get this on this YouTube channel. We hope y'all show support and hit the like button. Go follow, go share with everybody. Yeah. Yay! Good job. Thank y'all. So, don't forget to subscribe and to like this video, and we'll do another mukbang. Um, and I'll hopefully have another dish um, from my menus that we'll be eating on, and then we'll have another story time thank you guys well you guys could suggest a dish for her yeah. so give her an opportunity to cook what you guys want to see period love you guys